Hello and welcome to Gen 4 Racing here at Old Atlanta. We're going to get into qualifying real quick here because it took me a second to actually get things started up. Uh, my OBS was wanting to crash for some reason. I'm hoping that it's all good now, but uh, I'm glad I noticed before I actually started talking to myself for no reason for too long. Uh, we are out here having a fun time at Old Atlanta. Everything else is at a super speedway this week, so I'm glad we're at the non-super speedway version of this track. Everything's at Daytona, of course, to match up with the real-life schedule. And uh, super speedway's not so much my thing, so uh, at least we've got Atlanta. <laughs> Concentrate here for a moment while the track is tighter than it was in the open practice. Notice that immediately heading into the corner. So fortunately, that was probably not the fastest approach right there. Maybe we can get a run to the line and have an even better lap number two then. We're in the fives, which isn't the worst. But I can do better. Let's see, we got about a tenth more through one and two that time. Don't lose. All right, that'll work. So we'll gain about a tenth there. 416 will bring us to the pole for now. Alright. Love running the high line. Feels more natural to me than any other line, so... Being able to run the high line for qualifying here is always really nice. Should've got everything unmuted. We had Shane Meal in the practice beforehand this, uh, this race. Unfortunately, he didn't make it into uh, our split, I guess. That was cool. It seemed to be the Shane Meal of uh, NASCAR Bush Series fame and, uh, and such. Uh, made a couple Nextel Cup starts, I think is what it was at the time. Um, he had a bit of a controversial career. But uh, cool to see him on the track out there. As far as I, Like I said, as far as I can tell, it was him. His uh, name on iRacing was Shane R. Meal, which is also the middle initial of the guy I'm speaking of. So that was interesting, but again, unfortunately didn't make it into this split. Always cool to run into recognizable names. Of course, it could have been just somebody pretending to be Shane Meal. <laughs> that's, that's always a possibility, too. Probably should have done a practice pit in, but we're slowed down already and we only got 20 seconds, so... I'm feeling okay with my pit in anyway. I did practice that a couple times already. So I'm feeling uh, pretty good there, regardless. And it's looking like we've got the pole. All right. Barring any last second changes. That's now we're good. Pole position. Sweet. Well All right. We will get started. Hopefully get ourselves a good jump and lead the, the field off to the first lap of 80 here at Atlanta. What's a tank One giving us? Just barely over One half, so Pit road is closed right now. we'll probably be pitting whenever the car forces us to. There's your strength of field. Not too bad, especially because it is a... Uh, let's see, it's about 10.30 in the morning on Sunday. Not normally a time I race, but I kind of woke up today and I was like, I kind of feel like doing some Gen 4 racing. I knew I wanted to get this series done before the end of the week tomorrow. And that was as uh, good a time as any, I guess. I also wanted to get my uh, ARCA race uploaded from yesterday. Should be uh, at my time of recording here going up. That was a pretty fun one at Kern. Hopefully this one will be good here as well. Got some tough competition though. 2.9k 
Uh, lots of guys in the 5,000 I rating range. Of course, the number two and the number one back yeah, there in two. third the and fifth. Might have something to say about me being in the lead for now. Getting it rolling, though. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what gear we start in. Good luck, guys. Old Atlanta can definitely be slippery on the starts. So I think, uh. Yeah, we'll get it into second gear, it looks like. You no, know, to be honest with you, I'm glad this isn't the, uh. Super Speedway version of Atlanta. We'll leave a little bit of pay, uh, space to the pace car. Pace space. I'm going to practice uh, getting an idea of what it feels like getting on gas. It looks like you can get on it pretty good, but I'm going to definitely be a little cautious once the revs get real high. The, the car can definitely start fishtailing if you're not careful. We're going to be running the low line, unlike uh, qualifying, because I think we're going to want to be saving our tires. Get ready. Going green. All right, Colton, Ice car is off. Be ready. ready. Ice car is off. Go, green go, go. flag. Green flag. Ew, man. This thing is slippery. I still was careful and uh, kind of slipped it up a little bit. But we figured it out. And we survived lap one, so. And I knew once it started getting higher rev, it was gonna start fighting me. And it still kinda caught me off guard a little bit just how much it wanted to really slick Atlanta surface here this is the line we're gonna be running the Harvick line down by the white line trying to be kinda gentle with the inputs might even use a little bit of brake heading into three cause three and four particularly here at Old Atlanta tend to feel a little tighter than one and two Like they're side by side behind us, so they can keep doing that for as long as they want. I will not complain. Just gonna try not to kill the right front. I'm thinking about the right rear too, though less so. Don't want to gas it up too hard. Start sliding this thing around through the middle or exit of the corner. But I would rather it be loose than tight. We'll say that. Exit of two can get really slippery though. Later in runs, so I've got to watch out for that. It's kind of inching forward a little bit as I'm trying to save tire. Your last lap time was at 31.5. Got the 8 car behind us at the moment. I wonder if they are not looking to save tire right now, looking for track position. In which case, I shouldn't engage them in battle too much. Or else I'll just rip my tires off as well. 
So if they want to get by me, I think I'm just going to have to let that happen. Is he going? Is he going to the inside? Not quite yet. He's going to go by outside. That's cool with me, like I said. Monard's leading the lap here. I expect uh, potentially catch back up to him later. Or he could have the better approach. Who knows? We're we will see. Three wide on that big, guys. Let's chill out here. And about three wide back there. But it has been green so far, which is great. I don't know how many times he's got to run into me in one straight. Pretty ridiculous. Have you ever considered it was you and not the other people? No, dude, you ran into me too. You just, I don't know. We've got yeah, arguments got going on already. We'll see everything that happened later in the incidents. All contact, at least. I really hope you go back and watch all the first few laps. Watch how many times you watch the body, where it's quite close, and then me. I'm still the feeling team. great. I know when he back every you know, But everything else he did. Got a little bit low in the corner there. And then got a little yeah. loose, so that wasn't a very good three and four. Maybe getting a smidge tight, but that's okay. We're taking it easy. Got about point four back to third place. Leader's still going pretty fast. Only lap 12 as well. I might consider using a little break on the entry to turn 1 as well. Starting to get a little bit pushy. Getting a little bit looser on throttle as well. Atlanta doing its thing. Ripping those tires up even if you're careful. Yeah, I know. To remember that we have the pit really close to 40. Can't really go long at all. You can't undercut it much either, else you're not going to make it the second stint. It's only about 42 laps of fuel and a full tank. So strategies all going to kind of converge. Starting to reel in the leader a little bit, maybe. Might be uh, feeling the tire wear. Or maybe it was just one bad set of corners for now. Got a lap car feeling like Superman on fresh tires, if everybody knows. Uh oh. How do we have someone on fresh tires? Did we miss the start or something? I don't know how you even 
have pit at this point. The two and one car is still kind of hanging out, but hanging out back there, probably not trying to do anything crazy. Similar to me, I'm sure, trying to save some tire. Ooh. A little loose on exit. Approaching halfway for this run. my brake bias back at 60. I probably could have put it at 57. I probably will. don't think it's going to make a huge difference, but no reason not to, I guess. Suddenly we got some cars catching up to us from behind. Do I want to let them buy me? I don't know if I necessarily do. They're looking to get some track position though. They're going high line. I don't think I'm ready to do high line yet, so I think I'm going to let them buy me. At least the guy that's running the high line. Outside, that's fine. I'm not quite ready to push yet. One's approaching as well. You've just done a thirty-two point seven. One's looking like he wants to go to the inside, so I'll probably just give it to him. Leader is fighting for the spot. Looks like he's kind of taking the guy's line a little bit. guy laying up high if he wants to get through. And 8 is wrecking the two. Yikes. I don't know how he didn't spin him. Yeah, that's my fault. I tried to get the corner and fly. Oh, he must have slid in front of him. I didn't see that part. Oh, you're good, man. Just didn't want you to think that was intentional or anything. Alright, I didn't see the whole yeah, story. I Two owns it. I overshoot it, but I didn't expect you to drive in as hard as you did. My fault. I'm gonna let this continue to develop. I'm still not quite ready to push yet. I think I'm gonna wait till about 10 to go before I start ripping it. 
on the high line maybe. Thanks, Jay. Maybe not even the high line because that could be a dangerous prospect with the tires being worn as they are. But I might give it a try. See how it feels. Oh, we're we're up point point three. Three. I'm seeing more and more guys behind me though running up high. I don't want to lose too much track position. I don't think I want to fall any further than I am here in fourth, so maybe I push if uh, guys are looking to get around me. Man, it's getting loose even on the uh, front stretch there. It's kind of crazy. Gen 4 car's got a lot of power. Eight's holding on the best he can. That's his probably best option right now since he decided to use his tires up. Trying to hold off the one as long as he can. I'm hoping that uh, my tires will be able to get by him real quick. He's using that highline to his advantage, but also getting the wall, which is not great. And now we're getting stuck behind these guys. Someone needs to figure it out. Right now, we, now we got the eight on our outside. I wasn't even really prepared to do this yet, but we kind of just ended up here. Clear. Who put that one there? Seventeen, bro. You're all over the place. Dude. Come on now. You're now in third. Yeah, I could tell you were calling back twenty-three. All right, we'll get around the eight. Now we've got the one in front of us. What's our fuel situation looking like? We've got about 16 laps. That's actually further than I thought we were going to make it. You've just done a 32.8. We probably go long, or uh, start pushing the car, and then once it starts dying on us, then we pit. Great race so far, though. No cautions. Having a great time. Car's gotten very loose. I'm glad I've been Dude, trying to be careful with the throttle because even be with uh, uh, how easy I've been on the throttle, it's really dancing on me. Earlier. He didn't get me in the wall, but he, he damn near tried. Yeah, I think I got target on the this race. Oh. I don't know if it comes across in the video, but I'm really fighting it when I start putting the throttle down. Once we get to the exit, it's like it wants to start spinning. I think we gotta go high line now. Gotta get a feel for it. You can see it's immediately faster though.
Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. Make sure I don't get in the wall. E3. Just running the high line should provide a lot of speed. Don't need I don't need to push it up here. Now I guess we'll go until uh, the car starts giving up on us. Will we be able to start catching the one? He's been running pretty fast laps as well. One and two. I think maybe I need to go bottom three and four though. I don't know if it's necessarily working as much high line over there. Maybe middle. He's making the middle work pretty well. It's very loose there, though. Middle was never really an option until this track, dynamic track, track heat thing started becoming a real factor. But yeah, look at that. That's much better. Definitely going middle three and four now. Let's try it one and two. Oh yeah, with no more, with no extra effort, that middle line's really working. Man, this dynamic track is cool, man. That's definitely not something that would have happened before that was a thing. Middle line was basically extinct. Thanks, <laughs> my job. Man, that leader is really doing a great job, though. He has run away. How do we pass him, though? Guy in front of us. That's a good question. Getting in, getting in this time. Half distance should be about five laps of fuel left. You've just done that, but you just down. able to get there. You got about five laps of fuel left. Got a it's super it's loose, dang it. Coming up on Tried to get a good run off, but it got very loose. You got about four laps of fuel left. He's pitting this time. All right, good to know. Still inside. Eight is pitting. Clear inside. The car in front is pitting. I think I'm going to keep going until I see red at the end of the lap. On the session last lap. And then I'll pit the next time. Could be this lap, could be next lap. Pit near, pit near. I just want to let these guys pit as much as possible before I come in because I could definitely see yellow coming out. Alright, 0 0.01, we're coming in this lap. Just done a 33.0. Need past 
have anyone to warn behind us. Hitting, hitting, hitting. You have about two laps of fuel left. Whoa! Okay, we're good. <laughs> we'll fuel you to the end of the race. Pit box team ten. We came in pretty hot, but that was a good entry, I think. Five, we think you'll be out of fuel on the next three, lap. two, one. Right here. Slow entry, but I didn't want to slide past. Four cars this lap. Fifty sixty two. Good thing. Good thing. Pretty warm, but not unexpected. Okay, punch it. Be mindful. You only have one set of cards to make. The lead is fitting now. All right, where do we cycle out? We've got a guy coming up here. Hitting, hitting. Still some guys in the pits. P6. Oh, this is the eight behind us. You know, he's going to want to go fast early in the run. Just like last time. I don't know why he's bump drafting me in a car you can't do that in, but he is. You're in fifth. That was Definitely don't want to bump draft in this car. The bumpers do not line up. Same as the Arca car, it's the exact same body. In case anyone didn't know that. So I'm learning I can probably start pushing a little sooner than I did last run, based on what the leader did. So that's good to know. The P5. Have some guys that undercut pretty big. I mean, compared to when we came in, at least. front of us. Ten's got four lap older tires. Leader still has not pit, I'm guessing. Either that or did a very, very big undercut. Inside this guy. Clear outside. Think we'll clear him before we get, get to turns one and two. Fourth position. We can theoretically push a little bit harder this run since it's shorter, but not too much shorter. So don't go. <laughs> don't want to go crazy. One's right in front of us. That lap time was 31.3. The leader's got a five lap undercut, so they're fine to make it to the end, but they are going to be getting past here. Not too long from now, from by the two, it looks like. Might hold back the two a little bit, and, uh, Help us gain back some of the distance he gained in the first run. That lap was at I'm gonna go ahead and get around the one. I'm gonna use this middle line that's real cool. The track is cool. I mean, not that it's <laughs> wow, radical. 
Oh, hello. It is fun, making a pass. <laughs> the two did make it past the leader. Who is now not the leader, because that's how that works. Fifteen coming out of the pits. Looking like he's going to give us the high line here. I don't know what he's actually doing. Looking like he's faster when fresher tires anyway, so it doesn't matter where he's driving. Okay, Colton, you're reeling. Braywa in the gap is now 0.7. Whoa, the 7 getting very, very loose. We got a couple of Budweiser cars in front of us. 15 way over driving it. That's a little scary. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. P2. I have to just take the high line here. Fifteen is all over the track. He's taking up all three lanes. Just overdriving the corners massively. You're back in second. That's one point eight. Cup times are pretty consistent. Gap two. Braywear behind is now one point zero seconds. Number two is within our sight. I do also see some smoke though. Are we gonna get a caution? What is this coming up? Nothing? Are we good? Slow green car on the track. Right in the middle of the track, no less. That's terrifying. Slows down the leader. Massively. That gains us a lot of time on him. Not what the two wanted to see, that's for sure. I'm seeing a lot of guys in the wall and stuff. I think I just saw somebody in the wall again. Wondering if this lap car is going to try to pass the leader here. He really shouldn't. They're not really in the race anymore. It looks like they got a penalty or something. P2, you've just done a 32.1. He's behind him right now, though. Maybe being patient, so hopefully no issues come up. It's pretty tight. I think this bottom line is just going away. Do we run the middle? Just because no one really is running it? I might give that a try this lap. The gap ahead is now 1.1 seconds. It's faster, marginally. But probably worse on the tires, so I don't know if I want to do that too much. What about in three and four? Yeah, three and four is a lot better. Hmm. Maybe bottom one and two. Middle three and four. Maybe we try that. Yeah, that guy's trying to pass the leader. Oof. How cool of him. 
And the middle didn't really work there that time. So I don't really know where I want to run. Cars are so tight at this point in the race. A bit too close to the white line there and got pretty loose. That was a horrible corner. Not what I wanted at all. Got a big gap behind us, 2.5 to the 1. And I don't feel like we've been killing our tires by any means, so that's interesting. We're doing it. We're running the high line. We're going to do it a little bit early. See if we can catch him. See what happens. I want to at least try to be there at some point. He sees me doing it though, I think he's running up high now as well as a response. He knows what I'm doing, he's watching out his mirror and he's reacting. Smart way to approach it. It's gonna make it hard for me to make any sort of difference. He's got lap traffic to deal with though. Right there in front of him. The gap in front is now 1.4 seconds. And yeah, they're too wide right there. That is got to be frustrating see in his windshield. We're gonna have to get by these guys too. That's good consistency, keep it up. Was at 32.8. There you go, little. 1.5 up ahead. Sorry, man, it took me a second. I didn't even realize you were caught back up to me. That eventually lets him through. Guy's getting loose in front of him up there. You're good. You look faster when you came by on tires, so. Plus, I knew you were racing the 21 there, so. We are approaching 11 to go at the end of this lap. The gap in front is now 1.7 seconds. Can't see the gap the leader has now because we got so many lap traffic, so much lap traffic in front of us. The lap time was at 32.8. Loose out of the corner. Loosen the tri-oval. 
guys continue to run the high line even though they see me run in the high line. He goes low though. Oh, this guy's wrecking. Clear inside. Going back up into my line. I'm running high. Alright, we'll cut below him then. Like, he would not back off, I don't know. Kind of entering the middle lane too there is a little scary. 2.4 up ahead, yeah, we're losing him all of a sudden. The leader. I think he's probably got this. And these middle lines again, see what's here. Feels like the whole track's pretty much used up at this point, though. Thinking at least we should be able to hold on to P2 though. I know the one is catching, but I don't think he's catching enough. The two's pushing for real now, and, that, and he's just gaining on us, so he had it all the way. Probably wasn't even going full earlier. He's gaining like two tenths a lap. He's killing it right now. Ooh, easy. Want to get loose on the throttle. See a car on the wall up there. Please don't stop in the middle of the track. Go low. God. Five left to go. That would have been infuriating uh, for the leader. If that guy just stopped. Caused a caution. Because the leader's got this one. He does have some lap traffic in front of him again, though. I don't want anything to happen to him, because he's earned this. What it could happen. He might even just kind of hang back and not get in their battle and risk anything. So I don't think he really needs to. You've got about five laps of fuel. Two left to go. Two five to laps go. of fuel, but we got two laps to go. So everything's good there. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. You've just done a 32.9. White flag, no cautions now. Been a great race. Green all the way. 
Tons of fun, and it's looking like, as long as I don't mess this up, we'll get ourselves our P2. Good win. Yeah, good win, man. Nicely done. Yeah, people fish down. Okay. Good win. Good way, great, great drive. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Green all the way, I love it, guys. Nice run, solid work. Yeah, that was fun, great race. Good win, good ride. Sweet. Green all the way, always a ton of fun, especially track like this. Nice race there, four. Where the tire wear matters so much. Yeah, it's fun. It's so loose on the bottom of the tire wear out. Right we'll hop out the car, take a look what we had. 5768, that makes sense. I went a little harder that second run. Did a lot of uh, a lot more of the high side and such, so makes sense it got a little bit more worn. And we will get P2 out here. Two earned the win. Did it pretty uh, convincingly too, over three and a half seconds. And uh, we'll see what did happen. No cautions, but we definitely did see some things. For example, me being an absolute squirrel on the start. Lap 1, the 22. Getting into the wall. It's got like a Kellogg Star Wars scheme. That's fun. Keeps it in the wall so as not to wreck anybody. Twenty-three, finding the entry to turn one, maybe? That was real close. That's five. Ooh, that could have been really bad. And then it nearly was again. Fifteen entering a little harder than the fourteen I was expecting. Those guys are really close to one another. Oh my goodness, he's getting loose. It might be a miracle that there wasn't a caution in this race. Fifteen. Too low off the wall on the exit, it looks like. He's going middle line, but with nobody on his outside, you're kind of still expected to fade out a little bit more than that. You can see the 12 starting to fade out right about here, so he's given a lane. 15 is kind of pointed like this way, like he's going to exit the corner at the bottom of the middle lane, which isn't quite, <laughs> quite right. You can see he's still kind of down a little bit too far. Unfortunately, the other guy gets the worst of it, even though I'd say that was probably on the 15. Oh, no. He, he comes up off the wall majorly there. It looked like he got loose probably uh, after getting out of the wall. Probably got like full throttle here, and it pulls the car to the left. And uh, unfortunately, the 13 was there. And uh, 13 is going to get a penalty. 15 as well, and that's why he ended up a lap down, or, you know, lapped down, because uh, they both got penalties from that. No one backwards on the track or stopped on the track or anything, though, so that was not a yellow flag situation. 11 getting majorly loose. Having a hard time holding on to that. Lap 21, Taco Bell into the wall, I can tell already from the angle that he entered the, the quad oval. 22 is getting loose in the quad oval. It's easy to do in this car. It's no normally something you don't even think twice about. It's going through the quad oval here, but uh, if you've got a powerful car, it don't want to do that to you. It'd be a little bit of a handful. Got the singular wireless. Always reminds me of Robbie Gordon. Whenever I see this scheme, I think Jeff Burton wrote, uh, drove it at some point as well, too. I always think Robbie Gordon. Not too much happening there. So we'll skip ahead until we see stuff that is more relevant. Just because it's... Whoa, 15. Wow. Whoa. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening here? So I guess this guy's off the pace a little bit, maybe? I don't know. 15 maybe has got much better tires. I don't know what's going on, but uh, they're trying to figure out what's going. 
going down, bouncing off of each other. So I think this is just showing us tire wear as we're getting to that point in the race. And uh, guys getting loose and hitting the wall. Four up there, nothing. Guys just running the high line. I don't think we've seen any of the seven yet. Still nothing is done wrong either. So we're going to just skip ahead a little bit until we either see two cars next to each other or it's past the pit window. Get this going along. 20's in the wall. This is probably when I'm pitting in. Yeah. Let's see, I know I pushed I pushed a little hard. Woo! Barely made it, but I made it. Not too much longer before we see the last of the guys pitting. Alright, lap 52, I'm thinking everybody should be done by now. So these will all be wall hits or something actually interesting. At least until the very end of the race. 11... Loosen in the wall. That looked very similar to earlier. Ooh, his, how twitchy the car is. It looks like uh, maybe joystick controls. That was very nearly a caution. He stops on the apron. That easily could have been a caution right there. But thankfully it didn't get called. And we stay green. I only say that. I like, whatever. If you use what you gotta use. But, uh... The reason I say that is because these the quick back and forths, like if we look into the uh, cockpit here, back and forth, I don't know, it just, that always indicates to me, like, put, like probably they're not actually swinging the steering wheel back and forth really quickly like that. That's probably more of like a joystick trying to get it finagled. <laughs> I could be wrong. But uh, I can't think of any time I would want to be swinging the wheel that much. Four into the wall. Sixteen's heading toward the grass. It just keeps turning on him. Move 24 too far off the wall, kind of like the other guy earlier. I mean, this could easily be non-intentional, too. It's just they're kind of getting loose on the exit, and the car is pulling itself down there. 17 expecting them to be drifting up farther to the outside, though. Not much happening there. I think we're starting to see worn tires again because we're getting close to the end of the race. 14's in the wall. Let's go a little skip ahead a little bit. It's been a very clean race. Not too much to see. Most of this has been wall hits. And that will probably do it here. It will. We'll see the back of that guy, I guess. And Atlanta, where we have finished P2. All right. Good stuff. We'll take a look at the race results page, which should be popping up here in just a moment as I adjust everything I need to to make that show up. There it is. All right, 34 I rating gained. I lost a chunk from that uh, 87 race beforehand, but uh, gained about half of it back here with a P2 finish. Get these out of here. And... Uh, is there, is there an easier way to see the fastest lap time? I don't know. I'm still kind of learning the UI since I've uh, recently had to switch over to it. I don't know. Event log. Is this a thing? Does it say fastest lap? No. I don't know. I guess you just have to read the numbers. Too bad it used to highlight it, so it used to be easier. Uh, so 3895. 680, that's a very fast lap, so that's, yeah, that makes sense. This is the guy that kind of was just going for it early on. He wasn't uh, really trying to save tires. It looks like after he pit, he was 
gunning for it and uh, hit a fast lap. A couple tenths faster than the next fastest guy, I think. Or wait, no, that was uh, the guy we saw was the 8. This is the 7. The 7 was really going for it. The 8 was kind of going for it, but not quite as hard. Okay. I uh, got them mixed up because they're both from Indiana, both have B last names, and both finished right next to each other. <laughs> so I got confused in my head, but no, the 8 was the guy we saw. The 7 must have uh, gone for a real fast lap, and uh, got the fastest lap there. So, Yeah, I think this guy was the guy that uh, was leading for a couple laps there in the pit cycle. So, Alright, we'll lead 6 laps, uh, but uh, get P2 as the two... Uh, was better overall he had a better approach so that's totally fine he earned it and uh, p2 is not so bad that will uh, do it for this one thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one have a good one